Hi, I'm Katie. In today's industry update, we're talking about the world's largest telescope, engineering organisms to control electronic devices and self-healing electronics. Well, it's been dubbed the world's biggest eye on the sky, and scientists are hoping it will help them find out more about our universe. The European Southern Observatory is designing the world's largest optical near infrared telescope equipped with a 39 meter mirror. The European Extremely Large Telescope aims to help scientists find out more about our own solar system to extrasolar planets, from nearby galaxies to the furthest observable objects at the edge of the visible universe, from fundamental physics to cosmology. The EELT will be able to gather 13 times more light than the largest optical telescopes existing today. It will be able to correct for the atmospheric distortions from the start, providing images 16 times sharper than those from the Hubble Space Telescope. The mirrors will change shape a thousand times per second and will consist of almost 800 hexagonal segments each 1.4 meters wide and only 50 millimeters thick. Several designs were considered for the telescope enclosure, but settled on the classical dome design with the main structure weighing approximately more than 3,000 US tons. The EELT is planned to start operations as an integrated part of the Paranal Observatory in 2024. Army researchers are teaming up with biologists to see how we can engineer organisms to control electronic devices. The U.S. Army Research Laboratory is betting that engineered living organisms turned synthetic biology can be integrated into living and non-living systems to perform material synthesis, enhance human performance, provide environmental sensing, and control autonomous biohybrid devices. The ARL has been integrating natural organisms into engineered systems for well over a decade in systems like waste to energy production, but placing synthetically engineered cells into living and abiotic systems is a much more difficult task. So far, synthetic biology has generally employed E. coli as a host for engineered genetic circuits, but E. coli will never survive in things like 3D printing or withstand the natural environment. Scientists say the host bacteria must thrive, not merely survive, as dormant entities. ARL says they're taking baby steps and collaborating with a variety of research institutions, including MIT. The hope in the next 10 years is to see microbes act as simple sensors or actuators in non-biological devices. And magnetic ink can be used to develop self-healing electronics. For more than a decade, researchers have been looking for ways to make electronics last longer, and recently some have turned to developing self-healing materials to create components for electronics and batteries. Engineers at the University of California, San Diego recently developed a magnetic ink that can be used to make self-healing batteries, electromechanical sensors, and wearable textile-based electrical circuits. The team started their research based on printed electronics, giving them the opportunity to look for solutions, which led to using a permanent magnet microparticle for developing self-healing printable inks. These permanent magnetic neodymium alloy microparticles bestow a self-healing ability. The ink also includes carbon for enabling favorable electrochemical properties and a polymeric binder that helps in binding the magnetic particles and carbon together. The UCSD team plans to continue working on the ink to improve its self-healing capabilities as well as to develop a wide range of inks with different active materials for a variety of applications. That's it for today's industry update. Stay tuned for more news in electronics, automation, and robotics.